There are no major problems with my client's diet as all his answers from my questionnaire for him were positive. However, if he did have dieting issues, I would suggest the following lifestyle improvements, improvement strategies. I would suggest either planning his meals and the time he eats during his day. These both had advantages and disadvantages as to why this will be helpful and how they will affect you. Planning your meals will be a great help for someone who works all day and night or works or works through the night. This is good because by doing this you can be organised and not miss meals going along with your day being exhausted and not having enough energy to complete your workload. One of the only disadvantages for planning your meals is how time consuming it is due to having to take the time out of your everyday life and preparing your meal when you're free. Secondly, I would con consider Ti timing your food meal for many reasons. This is a good way to ensure your diet is on the right track and that you will have three meals a day. Three meals that you are meant to a day. Disadvantages are how this doesn't actually determine what you are going to eat whereas planning your food is actually planned ahead earlier in the day. Although both have their advantages I feel that planning your food will be more of an accurate strategy for improving the actual diet due to stopping you from rushing and buying takeaway and oily foods. Sleep. Even though my client gets at least a minimum of 8 hours of sleep each night and doesn't have any troubles at all sleeping or staying awake at night, he often finds it hard to actually fall asleep. I would suggest two strategies of how on how to improve and become more healthier, such as more physical activity, like joining a gym, joining a ledger center, or going to a doctor and being prescribed sleeping tablets to help him fall asleep at night without with ease. Both of these have advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of joining a gym is that he will become more worn out during his day f and fall asleep much more easier because of the increase in physical activity in his lifestyle. An advantage can be more he can be more tired and a disadvantage can be he can be more tired for his other hobbies and responsibilities as such as college and work. Another disadvantage is how it is isn't very time consuming so he would find it difficult to fit it in between work and college. It could also be expensive and he may not have the interest and motivation to spend a large amount on something he wouldn't do on a regular basis. The sleeping pills is another option. An advantage for this is how it will ensure he falls to sleep quicker. But there are many disadvantages. One of how the sleeping pills are more towards focusing on sleeping quality. And this is my client's problem. Another, another is how these pills can become unhealthy for you and make you constantly tired Lastly, this option is only for short term, meaning that this wouldn't be for long term situation, a solution. It wouldn't be a long term solution because it could start to get dangerous. I strongly believe the best solution is joining a gym due to solving the problem without any unnatural help and it become it being more safer. Physical activity and exercise. From the results of my client completed questionnaire. He has nothing wrong with his physical activity and exercise consumption, consumption as he gets a perfect amount of exercise according to the 15 to 18 year old guidelines. For someone who needed re recommendations for exercise, I would recommend that they either join a gym or undertake more regular exercise or seeing a doctor if it's more serious undergoing rehab therapy help. Advantages of undertaking more exercise or joining a gym is that it will all allow you to allow you to become more stronger and fitter, a more stronger and fitter individual, not just physically but mentally also. The only disadvantage advantages I would say is that it m might not be time consuming or too much for people that don't have the right economic status to afford a gym membership or extra training. The best op option in my opinion is joining a gym and undertaking extra sports, sporting activities. This is because it will make my 
make the individual more active and make them become better socially by joining a sporting team near them or out the area for stress. My client stated to me that he tends to get stressed over, stressed out over his sport. Two ways of decreasing the chances of this is to either have stress relievers such as massages and spas and generally just relaxing at home. My client has also stated that speaking to his teammates and then reassuring him makes him calmer whilst participating in sport. Advantages of massages and spas is that they are meant to be meant to relax your whole body and take your mind off things. Massages also do not require faculty or a cost. So you could get them, get one at home by your parents or sibling. Sibling. Disadvantages are that spas and proper massages done by professionals can be quite expensive due to become being done by a specialist. Advantages of di speaking to a specialist is that it will allow you to get what's on your chest out in the open and have someone there for you. Disadvantage and disadvantage is that this might not be for him as he might be a more shy individual and closed he and doesn't like sharing his problems creating him to become more uncomfortable meaning he'll become more stressed I would definitely try both methods especially massages to relieve pressure and stress in my client's life my client notified smoking my client notified me that he isn't a smoker but has tried it before for a more consistent smoker, I would either recommend looking online for professional advice, for example, the NHS website, to convince them and guide them into quitting. Firstly, advantages of looking at the NHS site will create a sense of fear in the smoker by seeing the stats and impact smoking has to the human body and their lifestyle. Also, getting a vape would be a more positive solution. Disadvantages are that it isn't, isn't physically done method and on you stopping and people may get bored or lose interest reading about it adventures of vape pens are that you still intake the source of smoking meaning it will be a more healthier alternative disadvantages are the amount it costs to get a vape pen and people may not f be fully committed and waste their money although both have their advantages and disadvantages i would recommend testing out the vape pen solution as you are still doing what a cigarette does just without the nicotine in it. Alcohol and drugs. My client is a consistent drinker but has never tried any form of unsafe drug. For my client I recommend him going to rehab or gaining professional help at therapy sessions to make them stay within the guidelines for alcohol. Advantages for rehab are that you are talking to a professional surrounded by people in the same situation as you. Lastly, People who have been through what you are going through will talk about their experiences in life and talk talk you out of your drinking habits. Disadvantages are that people are often scared to share the truth because of the fear of being judged or looked at differently. Also, sharing your feelings and problems could potentially make you feel worse and re remind you of the bad habits you are going through. Looking at the NH NHS guidelines, you will make will make you realise how bad alcohol is for you and what it does to your lifestyle and how much better you would be if you consumed less. Another disadvantage is that you may lose interest looking into detail about this because of the amount of information on the NHS alcohol page. All in all, I believe therapy is the best option for my client as he will get he will gain professional help and help from others who have been through what he is going through and understanding more than another individual.